So, Muscola, good morning. It's a, it's a, it's a weekend morning, a weekend after after yeah. South African elections. Yeah, brother. Good morning, brother. You know. Yeah, yes. Good morning to you. Greetings. So, uh, tell me about first of all, the, the, did you vote? And yeah, oh. now, now wait, wait, before you answer that question, just, just before you answer that question, evidence. <laughs> just before you answer <laughs> that question. <laughs> When I say, did you vote? It's just a stock question. What I actually mean, are you willing, I mean, no vote is a personal thing. Are you willing to uh, to explain what you, how you voted and why you voted? That's the yeah. real question. Yeah, I, I, I did vote. Oh, okay, a young person who voted. You know, in the States, they say young people ain't think gonna vote. I guess here, even they say here, you know, I don't know, but go ahead, what were you gonna say? Yeah. I, I did vote and I voted for, because I want change. Mm -hmm. in South Africa. So, I voted for EFF for the national for the national because there is national there is provincial. Mm -hmm. For national I voted for EFF mm -hmm. because the I wanted EFF to to to, to gain some percentages on, on their votes. So, on local, I know like local there are small parties also. Mm -hmm. I end up like okay, fine. There's an Azania because mm -hmm. Azania they 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 got no so much vote. So I ended up like okay, fine. Instead of of wasting because if I can vote for Azania for the national level, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a waste of time because there are no people on the national level that are voting. So let me try to put it there on local on on, on provincial mm -hmm. i voted for azania it's pac mm -hmm. for local oh, okay. yeah. so azania is pac it's pac pac the, the, the pan-african African congress, congress. Yeah. and that's the one that that was really started by uh mangalisa robinson so okay yeah. all right so so you voted for them provincially provincially uh, if we were interpret this to to like um i guess we, eastern we cape. yeah eastern cape yeah i'm just trying to interpret it for american or whatever audience yeah. that would be like voting for a state that you yeah. know more regional but i'm saying it's more like the state the national you voted for for eff, for EFF yeah. economic freedom fighters that that people know that from jewish malema yeah the young guy and then for the p for the local provincial, yeah. you voted for PAC. PAC. Who runs? Do you know anything about them, or who's who's the oh, figurehead for that? Who, who's the, the, the PAC? PAC is is run by by somebody else since Robert Sobuka passed away. There is other guy who's running for the presidency now. So I was I was in PAC for a very long time, but on the voting last time that I voted, I voted for EFF and the PAC the same. Mm. Even now, because what I'm trying to do, people, what is happening? There is a mainstream thing that is happening about ANC, EFF, DA. Mm -hmm. If people, we, we, the the pen, African national, PAC people can go out and talk with the people on the local. People are sick and tired of these parties who are, who are on the mainstream. Mm -hmm. There are parties who can handle South Africa good, and you see. Ma Robert Mangasasobukwe was a principal person because mm -hmm. I gave my vote to him, mm -hmm. personally for him. I put that X personally for him, not just putting just for, for, for PAC because he get out of ANC because he was principled. Mm -hmm. You see, even Julius get out of ANC because he was principled because the ANC is unprincipled. Those people, two people, Julius Malema, we can say he's a copycat of Robert Sobukwe, mm -hmm. you see, but I ended up like, okay, fine. Instead of supporting what is the, is is done by ANC because ANC is not doing any justice for for South African people, I decided like not to vote for them, vote for PAC and EFF. Mm -hmm. Now you, the, the, you, you mentioned uh, uh, Zania yeah. uh, because uh, the, before the elections, Jason Lemon from the EFF that yeah. said that they want to rename the country Azania. Of course, PAC's platform has always been exactly. the name of Azania. Now you're telling me that yeah, that actually uh, Julius uh, uh, sometimes, well, he sends copies other other areas, mm -hmm. but you know, he gets the most popular thing. And, yeah. whatever, whatever. Okay, so w before I jump off to something else, which yeah. I will, of course, tell me about this idea about Azania as, as the name of the country rather than South Africa, which is supposed to be a temporary name. But, but uh, tell me, what is the thing about that? The Azania, you, you see, South Africa is used by colonizers. 
So Azania is used by the African people because Azania is Africa as a whole. Mm -hmm. You see, instead of calling like this place South Africa because they are segre they are, they are dividing the the the, the continent. Uh. So the PAC call it Azania, the whole, including Madagascar because they there is the song say I Azania Azania. As an, so when they when they call places they say Morocco to Madagascar, you see, mm -hmm. because they Morocco to Madagascar. Yeah, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. see, because the Azania is the whole Africa. So this is going to be confusing to people because you, I thought that she was to, well, Azania was mm -hmm. talking specifically about the name the, the name of South Africa, no. but the Azania philosophy is all of Africa. Mm -hmm. Hence the Pan African mm -hmm. Congress means all of Africa con Congress, yeah. but you know, Morocco is not giving up their name. Yeah. You know, Madagascar is not giving up their name because there's history and generational, you know, mm. whatever behind it. So, Azania, even though they are saying they're all of Africa, they really are being specific. I mean, at least Julius Malema yeah. is being specific. I don't know about PAC, mm. about, you know, a, a, a country that Something. used to be called South Africa, or they, they want to be called Azania rather than South Africa. Yeah. I mean, am I got that? Um, yeah. Okay, so that they have to sort that one out. That's going to be sort of confusing, but I don't know. <laughs> so, how did you feel about voting? I mean, because you you said something else. Because you're you're talking, you're not even talking about wanting to change right away. You're almost talking about you're laying the seed, and you have been laying the seed. Yeah. For a future, for future kind of thing. For the future. You don't care about what they talk about. Oh, you got to do something right now. No. You got to be patient and patient and keep on doing it. Keep on doing it so that the others they can also. See, because we, we are not doing it, we know we are not doing things now for mainstream. We are doing things for the change. Mm. You know, when we need a change, everything take time. Even the time they come to colonize us, they take time. Mm. They didn't just come, boom, 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 mm. done. So even now, we want to change to the, our country. It will take time. So people, they must not look at me like, oh, ANC is it's it's, it's it's there. We everybody's gonna get there. Mm. The more we get patience, we, we become patient, we do what we are doing, stay on our lane, everything is going to happen. Mm. People, they must not look, those people, they, they were pinned up by, by the colonizers. Because if you can see, check the votes. The parties now are complaining about the voting. They say there is a problem with the, with the votes. Because the corporates, the corporates, they, they make sure the, 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 the the party that they are feeding with, with, with money for the mainstream, for everything, they're supposed to pay back, triple it. By our mineral resources, we know that. But these people, they think we are stupid. How, at the very first day, I'm like, the votes, they were high. And you're, if you can remember, most of the party, they, most of the people, they get off ANC. They form their parties. But what is happening now? Instead of decreasing, they are multiplying. They are multiplying numbers. So, South African people... Okay, well, let me try to understand yeah. this. You're saying that the corporates are involved, right? They're involved. And, and, since the, and since they have long-standing relationship with the, with the political party you've been yeah. around for so long, ANC, yeah. right? They have rigged a scheme where instead the, the you feel like on the ground you yeah. feel you I don't feel know like your, your you dad feel, I don't know about yeah. your dad yeah, if you feel but, but, something there is something okay well you 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 feel uh, that uh, they how, how should I say it? you you feel like the feeling is that the people are leaving the ANC mm -hmm. but yet still when the results come out their numbers increase rather than yeah. the feeling on the ground exactly. is that what you Huh, but it's still a feeling. I need the data for this. this yeah. Is a now, you see, it's, yeah, it's, and, and, oh, sorry. You see, it's when it's two days back on the news. Mm -hmm. They said there were people who had gotten with ink. You see, this thing, it takes some time to, 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 to be removed. There were people who were voting two to three times that were arrested. They used the, the marker. You know, the marker. The mm -hmm. marker, you put it and then you, you remove it. Uh. So people were, 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 were caught in Intata. Nearby trust, they were caught. You see, you see that's the part of the scam. How IEC allow that? Mm. You see, IEC is the it's, it's the IEC. IEC is, is the voting the voting uh, agents. Okay. You see how that can happen? 
because they say it's free and fair elections but there is no free and fair elections what we, we see and then what, what is happening I'm um, like I, I, I can I can go back to brother Rob Ooh, Mr. Bob mm -hmm. he said on the uh, one of the interviews he was interviewed about Desmond Tutu he said there are no elections that are running smoothly so these elections they didn't run smoothly in South Africa there is something behind these elections. So, what must happen? They must change the system. If they can change the system, everything will, will be transparent to us. There is nothing transparent to with it. Because, you see, each and every year, if there is a vote, there must be papers are missing. Mm. How the papers are can get missing? Mm. They must put a system in place with, with, with a fingerprint thumb, when you get there, you must put your fingerprint so that they must count the fingerprint instead of counting the paper, the, these things when, when people are registering and then you write something there. Signature, yeah. Sign no, that thing is not working anymore because it's a manual. Manual these days can be corrupted. Mm. Manual can be manipulated. They must use digital stuff. IEC must change this system because they know this system can be manipulated ten times. And there's been enough people that have gone through the IEC system. You see? Know what the, yeah, okay. Exactly. Uh, one last, one last thing. I don't want to really okay. be long. Uh, just a point that you you was talking about that the corporates would ever have you in the states. Yeah. We have this thing where you know we even have one party has as high got got a, a corporate not a corporate but a um, a, a vote counting machine. Yeah. One party has has got a vote has basically controlled the people who control the vote vote counting machine. Exactly. I'm not accusing anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to say the way that the way that actually works is that they want to change. At least one of the candidates has put a bill. One of the candidates who's a congresswoman, mm -hmm. she put a bill in that says no. We can you can have all electronics you want, but we want paper ballot backup. That's that, that's what you're saying, but you're saying more severe. Yeah. No, you want a paper ballot, but you want paper ballot to have a finger. You have to have your fingerprint on it. Yeah. So I, I think if you, if I got you together with the woman, who, she's running for president, mm -hmm. uh, Tulsa Gabbard. If I got you together with Tulsa Gabbard, you could probably you know solve the problems of the world. Yeah. You know? But then again, hey, remember India has a lot of people. They had a so a really incredible election where they didn't have any problems supposedly exactly. reported. So I don't know. So it is possible. It is possible because you see, if they can change the system, the system you see. If you can look at, at governance, there is a lot of corruption because people, they have been using the system for long. They know how to corrupt the system. They, they know how to, to, to game the system. They are gaming the system. Mm -hmm. Even now in IEC, these people, they know how to be corrupt in this system. Mm -hmm. They need to change the system so that these people, they, not, they must not get used to it. Mm -hmm. They are used to it. They can corrupt it on any ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... I see you getting all hopped up. Let me calm you. Hi, everybody. That's the beginning of the day. We got some stuff to do. Thank you so very much. Okay. Thank you, brother.